In a world where the party game genre is cowering under the shadows of Mario Party and the many, many children of Jackbox, comes a game that is overwhelmingly average. Marooners Play as one of six people who have watched one too many Indiana Jones movies and compete for the ultimate goal of collecting shinies and surviving long enough to collect even more shinies. Also, you can look down on your opponents from the top of a taller score pillar at the post-game screen. Select your character from a collection of stereotypes like a caveman, a pirate, or a pharaoh. Arm your character with one of the many unlockable weapons, then take comfort in the fact that these things are purely cosmetic and will not affect your performance in any way whatsoever. Mostly. You get out with other explorers in a series of minigames. After spending a grand total of one second trying to decode the tutorial image, wallowing in the classic internal panic of someone out of their depths as the timer counts down, culminating into a frantic frenzy of coin-grabbing mania as you try to take control of whatever's left of your life. At least, until you get to the mother of all cliffhangers because the chaos game mode randomly picks you up from an ongoing minigame and drops you into another one. But a party game lives and dies on the power of its minigames, and while the frantic pace of Marooner's minigames can provide an explosive burst of dopamine, the minigames themselves are functionally the same. Get in, collect shinies, try to survive, and get out. Yes, each stage has its own mechanic, like disappearing platforms, fireballs, or rolling boulders. But they're all practically the same game, with the same characters having the same controls consisting of moving, smacking, and jumping. And while repetition isn't as big of a problem if you're playing with a bunch of friends who are as shenanigans prone as you are, there are some poor people out there whose social circle prefers going out and socializing over playing video games. So yes, Marooners does its job as a party game pretty well. It gives a group of friends a good time and a conversation piece about the stupid things they did on their last game. Dude, come on, I think you're overreacting a little bit. But it's nothing special. It's easy to see how Marooners got marooned on the island of mediocrity. This has been Brain from Wolfie, hoisting the colors and setting sail.